Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here, back again with another tutorial, and today I've got something a little bit different for you. Today I'm working with Audacity, and I'm going to be showing you how to remove background noise from your recordings. Now for those of you who haven't used Audacity before, this is a free-to-use audio editing program for both Windows and Mac, and the process of removing the background noise is actually very simple. So this is a useful and practical technique that you guys can use, whether you're recording uh, vocals or recording a podcast or an interview. If your recording has background noise in it, then this technique should come in pretty handy. So before we get started here, I just want to quickly mention that this particular technique works very well with background noise that is consistent throughout your entire recording. So just keep that in mind, that if the background noise or humming or whatnot changes, uh, during your recording, then you might have to highlight different portions of the audio and uh, apply this effect a couple different times. So before we jump into the details here, let's just play this audio clip and see what it sounds like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Background Noise channel, uh, 104.9 The Fan, where it's all background noise all the time. Okay, so right off the bat, you guys should be able to hear the difference pretty clearly between the recording here that has a ton of noise in it and uh, just myself talking right now. Quite a difference. So if your recording does have a lot of noise in it, how would you remove that? Well, the first step would be to highlight a portion of just the noise only. So you want to look throughout your entire audio clip and find a nice little portion. You only really need about a second or so. Let's just go ahead and play this really quickly. Perfect. So once you've made a selection of just the noise, you then want to go up to Effect and choose Noise Reduction. So then this little box will pop up here and you'll see that there's step one, step two. So the first step to this is that, as it says here, you want to select a few seconds of noise so Audacity knows what to filter out. So essentially it's taking a snapshot of the noise and then later you're going to remove that particular sound that it's already looked for to the entire recording. So let's go ahead and profile that. Once you've done that, you can then double click to highlight the entire recording. Or if you only want to uh, um, apply this to a part of your recording, then of course you can highlight the part in which you want to remove the background noise from. But in this case, I want to remove it from the entire recording. So you make your selection, you go back to effect, back to noise reduction. And this time you can choose how much you want to reduce the background noise by. I've chosen 24 decibels for this particular example. If you don't want to reduce it by that much, you can choose a smaller amount. If you want to reduce the background noise by a lot, you can drag the slider up here. So you can now see it's 45 dB. Keep in mind that um, the more noise reduction, it's probably going to degrade the quality of the recording. So you don't want to be too aggressive with it. I would just remove as much noise that is necessary or that's needed. So we're going to go back to 24 here. You can leave the sensitivity and the frequency smoothing uh, just as they are and go ahead and hit OK. So, you, so you'll notice that the waveform actually changed. You actually don't see the noise in there anymore. Let's go ahead and play it and uh, see if it worked. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the background noise channel, uh, 104.9 The Fan, where it's all background noise all the time. Okay, so as you guys can hear, it, uh, Audacity has actually done a pretty good job of listening to the noise and then uh, knowing what or how much to take out without reducing really too much quality of the actual recording. So just to sort of do an A and B, let me just play a small portion of this uh, with the finished result here, and then I'll just undo that and play the original so you guys can actually compare A to B. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome back to the background noise channel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the background noise channel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the background noise channel. Okay, so this, as I said, it works pretty well. Just don't go overboard with the noise removal. You only need to remove what is necessary, and uh, you just have to sort of use your own judgment in the end. Does it sound better? Does it affect the recording too much? 
just use your judgment, use your ears, and uh, you should get along just fine. All right, so that wraps it up for this tutorial. I really hope that you guys found this one useful, even though it is a little different from my regular content. So if you did like this video, please definitely give it a like. It really does help me out. And uh, please let me know if there's any future tutorials that you guys would like to see. And uh, one final thing I'll say is that I know it's been a little while since I've released any original music. I'm trying my best to get that out uh, as I can or as time permits. So I promise there will be some music coming for me in the, in the near future. So until then, stay tuned, keep enjoying these tutorials, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon.